Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Richard Stevenson and I'm the Director of Education at Stevenson Dental Solutions. I'm also Emeritus Professor of Clinical Dentistry at UCLA. And this is our teaching center where we conduct many hands-on courses all year long. You know, so today we're going to talk about a new technique called the 5x5x5 all ceramic crown prep technique. And we're going to start by utilizing this burr block that I've put together for this particular technique to allow you to complete an all ceramic crown preparation in both the anterior and posterior. So today we're going to be looking at a molar preparation for all ceramic materials. Remember that the occlusal surface should have three planes, the A plane, the B plane, and the C plane. We also want to make sure that we have a 6 to 10 degree taper and we have a primary and secondary planes, particularly in the aesthetic areas. For zirconia, we're looking at about 1.5 on the occlusal and about 0.8 in the axial at the margin. With lithium to silicate, we want to have a little bit more clearance, and we can even be the same or a little bit less reduced. So let's talk about step one, which is the occlusal punch cut technique. I'm utilizing a 1.5 millimeter 330 carbide just to make punch cuts in the deep pit areas and then I'm going to run little stripes of reduction out along the uh, areas to the buckle and lingual. And this is just to give us a depth cut reference point. 1.5 millimeters deep. After this step has been completed, we're now going to go immediately to the axial reduction. The axial reduction will be accomplished utilizing a diamond burr that is intended for the purpose of creating a fillet margin. This burr is a green stripe diamond. It's rather aggressive. It will create a 6 to 10 degree taper. It'll also provide you with the proper shape of the finish line, which would be a rounded shoulder or we call a fillet design. We just perform the same reduction on the lingual as we do on the facial, always keeping the burr parallel to the long axis of the clinical crown to follow the line of draw. We're now going to turn our attention to the interproximals because for this we need to have a smaller burr. And we're going to be utilizing the same burr in, in its shape but it's going to be a smaller tip. This is called the 6856012, which is definitely smaller and allows you to pass the burr through interproximally without fear of nicking the adjacent tooth. Once that clearance has been made, it's okay to go back to the 6856 and wrap up the uh, uniformity of the fillet margin. This is the 6856016. The fourth step is occlusal reduction. So this is actually being done after the axial reduction. And I'm utilizing a unique keg-shaped burr that will reduce the occlusal. And then finally, we're looking at refinement. And this is done with the 8856016, which is exactly the same burr in terms of its shape as the 6856. 016. The difference is this burr is fine grit diamond. And then we're going to follow this up with a jiffy cup in the uh, posterior. We like the cups. They work really well to get the preparation nice and smooth, which is very important for all ceramic preparations. This entire technique utilizes five burrs, five steps, and really can be accomplished in as little as five minutes. Now, it may take you a little longer at first. Let's say it takes you 15 minutes, but I think that with some practice, you can get this down to about five minutes. I placed a putty on here before we prepped so that we could see how much we've reduced. And you can see the technique is very predictable in giving us the kind of reduction we need to have to have successful ceramic preparations.